it doesn't seem like Prince Harry will be seeing his home country anytime soon. It seems like he's finally severed ties with the UK. Tell me more. Yeah, he certainly has. Well, this actually dates back to when he got evicted from Frogmore Cottage back in 2023. We know that his whole life is essentially based now in the US alongside Meghan and his children. He's been very open about the fact that he loves his life there, away from the senior working royals, whatever you might think of it. But it's only up until now uh, that we've actually sort of realised uh, what well, just how permanent this is. Now, he's got a company called Travelist, and when they did their company returns, he put his base in the US rather than the UK, which I guess sort of finalizes things. But just to add a little bit of spice into this, he put it as the date of the date he got evicted from Frogmore Cottage. Um, so I'm sure Royal Watchers put two and two together and thought, well, um, that's quite something, isn't it? Yes, indeed. It doesn't take a genius to work out what's going on. It's interesting. I mean, do you think mm -hmm. in a way that Prince Harry is calling out his own father, King Charles, in relation to that notorious date when he was evicted from Frogmore? Yeah, look, he'll have had advice saying you evidently on a public level got evicted on that day um, and you perhaps should put that date on a legal document. Now, I'm no lawyer um, and I can imagine that's the advice that he got, but evidently it's just finalising a situation, I guess, that we already sort of knew was coming anyway. Um, and again, it's bringing into the conversation, well, when is he going to be coming back to the UK? When is he going to be bringing his children back uh, and Meghan? And for anybody that did want him to come back, well, now he's he's very much said on, on an open platform, whether he likes it or not, because the documents are public, that, well, it, it, perhaps he, he won't be there anytime soon. Indeed. Now, of course, we know that uh, Prince Harry spends more time with lawyers than with his own family, certainly his family here in the UK. And I just wonder whether he's going to need the help of President Joe Biden in order to stay in America. Yeah, well, he's been very open about his drug use. And as we all well know, um, America is very strict when it comes down to that. And I guess the argument here is, well, why is it one rule for him and then not the other rule for someone else? Um, so this is what he's going to be have to be battling with. But I guess on his side, um, he has got a rather large pocket in terms of finances, and I'm sure that um, he'll be getting all the right legal advice for him to sort of pursue uh, pursue his visa over there if he so wished to, uh, which he's been quite you know public about. So um, whatever happens and the decision that is made, it's going to hit headlines whether he likes it or not. And there will be people who will say, oh, well, you know, people didn't want him in the UK and the royal family didn't want him, et cetera, et cetera, which actually is not the case. Yes, people have been, um, you know, critical over his actions and his words about his family. Um, but, you know, I think a lot of people in the UK do still have a bit of a soft spot for Harry. Um, but then there'll also be other people who will say, well, yeah, perhaps he should stay in America. But, you know, there are people over there who who will, who will quite frankly say, well, why is it one rule for him and, you know, not the same rule for everybody else?